Hi everyone, in this uh, video I would like to talk about how you can get uh, information from an IP address and um, let's say those information will then represent company information. Uh, we use for this a plugin named ip to company and this given video tutorial goes back to another tutorial that I uh, made in which I was using Matano Tag Manager in order to call a third party service, take out the information from the IP address and then sending them back uh, to Matumo as a custom dimension. Here is another use case uh, based on the community plugin which is named ip to company and which really show the diversity of Matumo analytics. Um, first of all, I would like to say uh, one thing dealing with this plugin, I think it has been made in a very good, um, how to say, uh, it has been taught uh, really carefully and it's a uh, it's really smart way of building up a plugin because what it says over here in the description is that this plugin has been first developed for the needs of a company I've been working for and here is the name of the company and to me this is exactly what uh, Matomo should be about when it comes to uh, contributing to Matomo is the fact that some businesses can recognize that there is an interest of publishing the source code of their developer for <coughs> the welfare of uh, the community. And of course, after that, they are free uh, to make, uh, let's say, the, to, to promote their activity as they want through a backlink, such as the one that we can see over here. But I really think that it's important that companies understand that, uh, let's say, circular economy and, uh, let's say, the well-being of everyone on Earth is not just about recycling, it's as well about uh, publishing the source code, and I think that this plugin is a really good example of it. Uh, this plugin uh, works um, by default with one service, but you can extend uh, the, let's say, the strength of this service thanks to uh, ipinfo.io. And as well, um, as it mentioned on GitHub, uh, you can of course suggest to the developer to uh, add additional other, uh, let's say, uh, service IP uh, provider. Um, thanks to Romain Villard, who is the developer behind this, uh, this plugin. Uh, it's a plugin which is very straightforward. You just need to install the plugin through the marketplace and once it's uh, installed, uh, you do not have much to do, except of course if you want to uh, subscribe to uh, the following service uh, which was mentioned over here, which is the ipinfo.io and then get the token inserted within your Matomo. If you don't do it, uh, in any cases, you can access to the report by clicking over here in visitors and then uh, you will find over here companies. Uh, I think this plugin as well really interesting because it shows uh, the, let's say, the different um, the different way that a table report can, can be built. So uh, here in our case, as you can see, it's uh, putting several dimensions such as the IP address, the company name, the last visit, the type, and so on and so forth, and show you that uh, when you create a plugin, you can go uh, very, very far. Um, here's the name of the company. Unfortunately, in my case, for my website, I don't have many companies coming on my website. So as a result, the information which are here are the one from individuals, so let's say their uh, internet uh, connection provider, which is not very talkative, but of course, if I was a website which is more centered so at company here, I could have a uh, like nice name like Lorian, Michelin, and so on and so forth. And uh, what is really interesting here is that all those dimensions, I can call them later on as a custom alert and then uh, receive information about, about those. Um, this is what this uh, this plugin is doing, as you can see uh, over here. So it's giving me, uh, as its name stands for it, information about the companies uh, visiting my website. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Thanks uh, for watching.